Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel y'all, how are you? Listen, it's so good to have you back, I am so excited to have all of you guys here with me. Welcome to your December love in general. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, um, you guys, I just want to say I'm so grateful for all of you so 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 grateful for all of your love all of your support please don't forget to like share subscribe also i think i said hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded i miss you guys so much i love you i love you to the moon and back please also join me on my small but growing community i do have my instagram um I have pick a card readings. I do have healing sessions as well. I want everyone to be a part of it, please. Okay. And what else, you guys? I will be posting a very great post on healing grief, okay? And I can't wait to explore this journey with you this coming, uh, or this past year. I really want to do a chatty video. And I was just thinking of Aquarius. I don't know why I'm linking Aquarius to it, but it feels very significant here. Listen, Aquarius, if you are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, I am a medium, and I do offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. All that information is priced below. Um, so, let's see. Also, my loves, please, you guys, join me. Again, I really want to share my Reiki healing giveaway session with you guys. Let's see what's happening for you, okay? December... Let's move in towards the end of the month. I know I have not been prompt, so I apologize. I love you. Love you, love you. Okay. Let's go ahead and see here. Let's see what's happening. Listen, Aquarius, let's get into this general. There's something maybe around the aesthetic or the beauty, okay? There's something around your look. A lot of you guys are... You're reworking your hair, there's a new identity, or you're feeling like you have to change something about yourself, okay? I am also feeling there's a lot of pressure to conform, or there's pressure around you. This could be around a significant other. Okay, listen, you guys. There's something around wanting to make it, or you guys are signing up for something here. So we do have the Ace of Cups. Very beautiful new beginning. Okay, there's something making you emotional, Aquarius. A lot of you are feeling torn around your past and your present. This also revolves around modeling or beauty, or if you're working in the field of beauty or anything around where you are kind of expressing yourself through your body or through your physique, you guys, there's something here that's really, really challenging a new beginning, okay? You're starting to accept yourself. You're starting to feel very just free. There's something around your freedom here, okay? So let's see what else. There's a new beginning coming up for you around the 19th. Okay, my spirit guides are showing me the 19th here. I'm also seeing the 22nd. So general, let's see what's happening. Some of you are writing a story or you're writing um, a book. Okay, you're an author here. So we do have the Queen of Pentacles as well. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is fantastic, Aquarius. Please take note of how beautiful you are, how much you've made it. You are so successful, you guys. Your achievements, please do not look past your achievements. What I know of Aquarius is, you know, a lot of the time... Um, 
Aquarians may be coined as narcissists. But this is only because you guys have a hard time accepting love. You know, you're thinking, when have I ever been accepted? When have I ever been loved? So this is about really aligning with your roots and, and just taking a moment to look at your throne, look at your crown. Aquarius, you are so beautiful here. Okay, and I want you to really trust. Okay, so let's see what else is coming up for you. Aquarius, some of you guys are um, writing something very special for your father. If your father is passed on or there's some form of release here through written form around your father or your grandfather okay you're letting go you're letting go of something that happened here we do have the ace of wands in reverse this new beginning it's going to inspire you please do not allow the world to dim your light this is what I'm feeling people around you are not really understanding you or they're not accepting of who you are they're not accepting of maybe a spiritual practice here or it could be a new way of life or your belief systems your philosophy but you writing you guys this book you writing it's going to be a catalyst to a monumental change here the Ace of Wands in reverse, you're tired, your spirit is exhausted. Okay. I'm also seeing a lot of uh, star mapping here, Aquarius. You're looking up, you're asking for faith here. You're really looking at faith and you're saying, where am I going? Where am I headed? Some of you have recently had a fallen out with a roommate. Okay, there is a, I am feeling a Libra, or there's a disconnection around a Sagittarius, and some of you guys are ready to start new. You're really hurt by this. This is someone who is manifesting against you, okay, or they were somehow taking your creativity or your brand, or vice versa. So let's take a look. You are removing yourself, you guys. You're detaching from your old life. Listen, Aquarius, you have this ancient wisdom coming up for you, okay? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. There's something around going back to the past. I want you, listen Aquarius, I want you guys to really work on a full moon ritual of trusting that you can surrender something or you can let something go. It's okay to remove yourself, you guys. It's okay to let go and travel. Some of you are so fearful of starting something new, but it's happening anyway, okay? There are two things here, some of you, two projects. I am tunneling a brand here or a clothing brand that did not work out in your favor. You have a new calling. Something around writing or lyrics, you guys, okay? So let's see what else, what opportunities are coming your way? There's a strong Neptunian influence here, Aquarius. You are in a dreamy state, you're very creative this month, you guys, there's an influence of feeling inspired by everything that you see, okay? But there's something also deceptive about Neptune. It's connected to uh, addictions or substances or uh, an addiction to the past, okay? So let's see what else. We have the Two of Swords here, making a decision, your gift. You have a wonderful gift of a pause. Follow your heart, Aquarius. This is really important. Please follow your heart. You guys, you're, you're stuck between thorns in my vision. There's something around thorns. Trust that you guys will be okay, okay? 
So let's see what else. What gifts are coming towards you? Something around cloaking your eyes and your heart. You don't want to see and you don't want to feel. There's a retreat coming up for you closer to January or the end of the month, but this retreat will show you a different version of yourself. Okay, wow. So the gift of expansion, we have the two of wands here. A lot of you are expanding. A lot of you guys are moving forward. Business is coming towards you easily, you guys. Listen, Aquarius, if you have uh, established some kind of wealth around a studio or a business, this is happening for you. If there's been a need for financial aid around some kind of workspace, this is happening for you. This is about good luck, you guys. You guys are really moving energy this month in your favor. You have a Pisces here who will help you, okay? Something around a Pisces who's also going to help you establish a territory around your business. So let's see what's happening here. We have one more. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, Aquarius. Listen. There's so much, you guys, around a, a tug of war or a lot of you are really feeling at odds around change. I, listen, you guys love change. This is never a thing for you. Something around change for you right now is it's, it's heavy, okay? There's something heavy for you. I'm also feeling financial aid that you will have to hold on to. If you're waiting for money, Aquarius, you have it coming in. Do not, do not, um, something around holding on to a form of poverty consciousness. Listen, abundance is coming towards you every day in all forms. Don't hold on too tight to your pentacles. Allow people to help you as well. Let's talk about love. I am getting Paris and France for some of you, Aquarius. We have Europe here, the UK, New York. Okay, let's see what else, you guys. Aquarius and love. So we have strength here. Listen, you have a Leo. I kept feeling this. Some of you guys have a Leo. Um, you're trying to really do the right thing with this person or uh, you're resisting temptation around lust. This connection is really fiery. It could be a Sagittarius, excuse me, a Sagittarius, an Aries. This is someone who you really want to just have moments with. Okay, it's very physical. There's a lot of passion here, but the lesson is restriction or really holding on to this attachment to your old life. Aquarius, you no longer want to be a player or this person no longer wants to be a player and you really want love. Okay, a lot of you are trying to be strong in love. There may be a little bit of some pride here. Okay, so let's see what else. In love, Leo, in love. Excuse me, Aquarius, in love. We have the world in reverse, a completion of a cycle here. Listen, Aquarius, this love, it, words, words need to be spoken. This can also be a Libra. Words, you guys, a fourth house. I am having a vision of the fourth house here. This is around claiming your home or claiming your roots. Some of you I am seeing um, someone who wears red or someone who wears really bright colors, dark hair. This person is going to be your future spouse here. They're different from you. Okay. They're eclectic. They're uh, in the industry or they're doing something completely different than you and they stand out. 
but you have put this to a pause or you will be putting this to a pause. Some of you are trying to make this more about the heart than the physical. Okay. Wow. Okay, so Aquarius in love. This person is at a distance as well, or you guys have a long distance connection. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. So we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. Listen. Okay, Aquarius. Someone here does not. There's a lot of secrets here or a love that's very hidden. Some of you guys are tempted to step out of your connection and travel to this person or some of you are uh, tempted to stray from a relationship or you're not ready for something long term. Someone here is not ready for a commitment, okay? I'm getting a lot of drinking or a lot of, um, you know, over the top kind of indulging in, um, wow, you guys, it feels as if it's just, I'm not ready to commit. I'm getting a lot of, I'm not ready to commit. So if you have been waiting cross watchers for an Aquarius, this person wants you to know that they're taming themselves with you. They do not want to lead you on. They don't want to hurt you, especially if you are a fire sign or an air sign. So let's see what else. Give me a little bit more on Aquarius here and love. Yeah, listen, Aquarius, you guys are online or you are talking to someone here at a distance. This person, they're holding back secrets around maybe um, a substance issue, an addiction to sex, or uh, this is something that you're doing, or you guys are really watching someone. You, you, you're taking notes on how someone fits in the community or how someone fits in with you, okay? Wow, especially if they are a Libra, Venus, you guys. This person is um, either they're watching you, they're stalking. Someone here is stalking Aquarius in love. Whoa. Wow. So let's see what else. This is also around writing love letters at a distance or emails. So we have the Eight of Wands here. This is an online connection, you guys, okay? Listen, I do feel you guys have a connection here that is explored through words. I, listen, honesty, you guys. Aquarius, it's important to make sure this person is being honest with you. Okay? I'm also seeing a connection with a Taurus from the past. This person is six months ago or something around six months ago. They're reconnecting with you. Honesty is key here. You are really taking this person serious, but I don't know why I'm getting dishonesty in terms of loyalty. The new moon will reveal so much about your heart, Aquarius. Some of you are not ready. Okay, you're having a hard time to, you know, you're having a hard time committing here because of your past, because of your pain. Your angels are waiting for you to cross this bridge so they can really show you true love. You guys are really ready here. Aquarius in love. Some of you are um, feeling very possessive about someone, especially this air sign here. Uh, listen, there's a fire sign you want to start something with, but there's a lot of caution here. This could have this person can also have Pisces in their chart, or there's a Scorpio in their chart. There's so much around being confused here. Okay. Some of you want to hold on to this person or vice versa. There's a need to control. Be aware of controlling patterns, Aquarius. Something is really destroying itself. It's coming down. 
Okay, something is really falling apart here in order to rebuild. If you're holding on to something that is no longer serving you, if you're allowing yourself to be minimized by this person, I don't know why I'm getting someone who's a little bit harsh or they're a little bit um, abusive in words, you guys. Your, your guides are saying we're done. We cannot allow this any longer. Okay, let's see what's happening for you this month. Listen, there's something around taking um, taking note or pay attention to what's happening around a conversation with someone who's wearing black. They're going to tell you something very important about your beloved here. Okay? Yes. Some of you have a shocking pregnancy, Aquarius, at the end of the month, or you are meeting your divine feminine here. Some of you, this person, um, they're, they're shocking. They are shocking you. This is either an earth sign, you guys, or a Leo, Sag, Aries. But either an un unexpected pregnancy here, or this is someone who is coming into your life and it's brand new. Okay, it reminds me of that song, In Common, by Alicia Keys here. It's like love at first sight. You think this person is beautiful. They think you're beautiful. It's important not to rush the sex, you guys. I don't know why I'm getting a connection that is really moving along quickly here when it comes to children. There's also clarity, okay? Be clear upon your intentions, Aquarius, at the end of the month, girl. Bye. This is fiery. What is the outcome here? We have the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, listen. The past, you guys, let go. Let go or be dragged. I hate to say it that way. It's a quote. There's someone here. You are revisiting something completely. It's like all over, okay? You're revisiting the situation. Uh, it, it's, it's holding you back from true love, Aquarius. There's a fixation on having someone who is no longer... A part of your life okay or this cycle has closed itself the more you hold on to Pluto the more it it self-destructs okay Scorpios are self-destructive in some ways and this is about completely <laughs> completely renewing and completely just changing your course here okay so we cannot hold on to Pluto or Saturn, you guys. These are two planets that really are harsh. They teach, I would say harsh because they teach us so much about ourselves and maturity. Okay? There's so much here. Please be aware of deception, you guys. This is a love that is showing you who they are. This person is showing you who they are. So if they are in a third party, this is who they are. Do not, do not minimize yourselves, you guys. Aquarius, you have spent so long. Okay, you give so much of yourself. It's time to honor who you are, okay? I love you.